The soft push function enables the robot to take out long parts with the respective axes being pushed by the ejectors. To enable the soft push function, you must be in the text editor. And within the program, at the respective location where the robot is in position to receive the parts, select the respective axes to be used and choose the push function. Within the drop down, there'll be selections that need to be made. The output is the selection of the signal permit ejectors forward as being the action that will deactivate the servo motor in the respective axes to allow that axis to be pushed by the ejector signal. You can also use the ejector back, the core signals, or a respective peripheral output. Input this in the dialog box, and then select the input that will reactivate the servo motor once the axis has been pushed to the fully forward ejectors or forward point. This signal will reactivate the servo motor. The amount of assistance selected by touching the percentage box and using the keypad to input the amount of assistance required to help the servo motor with the pushing assistance to allow a parallel movement and reduce side load pressure on any upper bearings. This value can be adjusted between 1 and 120 percent. The next selection is whether the axes will move with a pre-programmed VMAX percentage or the uniform velocity of the speed that the ejector pushed the axes back. Select the radio button, and that pre-programmed VMAX speed is the speed that the robot will continue to move at once the servo has been reactivated. The intermediate position is the position that the servo motor, no matter what, if that position is reached, will reactivate. This position is usually a window of approximately 20 millimeters past the e full ejector forward position. Select the radio button and move the axes to the position past the ejector forward signal by approximately 20 millimeters. The target position allows you to teach the safe exit position of the axes once the servo has been reactivated and past the intermediate position that the axes will move to to enable it to exit the mold safely. At this position, the robot will be allowed to exit the mold once it's reached. Input the soft push function into the program. So if we follow the program, the x-axis moves to its forward position in the mold to receive the part. The soft push function activates the ejector signal and deactivates the servo motor, allowing the respective axes to be pushed. Once the ejector signal is fully forward, the servo axes will once again re-engage and will move to the safe target position to exit the mold. You must input your ejector back signal in the program to allow the next cycle to process properly.